Night is long and the path is dark. Look to the sky for one day soon. The dawn will come. Hello there and welcome to the Antlered Crown. I am Elwyn and this is a reading for water signs. So, if you're Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, this is for you and this is a reading for the week ahead, March the 13th to the 20th, okay? Now, let's start by looking at what is coming up for that week. What can you expect? What may be happening for some of you? Oopsie. We don't want that. Right. Oh, you want to come out, don't you? Okay. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Okay. So, water signs. What we have here is a form of pain. Okay. Now, this can come in many forms, naturally. Um, but this pain is is uh, something that kind of is growing for you right now um there is heartache there is a form of mourning maybe some of you are mourning someone particularly or missing someone particularly now memories much strong here these i see as a form of a memory to something to happier times that's creating sadnesses but this sort of force here to pull yourself up and and sort of carry on can be more detrimental in some ways at the moment because there are other things instead this card is a distraction from pain okay whereas this is a necessary work that may need to be done all right um it's hard i know there is a form of healing and self-improvement that is necessary for you water signs and some of you water signs. Fortuna here, the wheel of fortune, it brings around this sense of ups and downs right now and riding out these sort of bad times. However, there are small things that you could do to help to improve on situations, okay? <laughs> so when it comes to <clears throat> well not just spiritual insights as well although these can help you there is also finance here it has been tough for some of you financially it's tough for many people right now i know but there is this trying to almost figure out what to do going back and forth back and forth not entirely sure what to do when it comes to finance feeling a bit stuck now there is this balance trying to keep things afloat not just work wise but trying to keep emotions in check and balancing things it may be difficult to appreciate some of the things around you at the moment because of everything else that's going on okay now this much of this is down to perspective okay there is a lot here to do with perspective and how you may see things right now and it's difficult to sort of pull yourself out of that I get it it's okay remember the motto this too shall pass okay this too shall pass and it's true 
Okay. Um, hmm. Balance again. Trying to find balance may be a problem here. Okay. You may find yourself imbalanced uh, at the week ahead. The universe. And power again. This is the third time power has come up for every other reading. And this is once again about realizing that you have more control over situations, especially over yourself, your body, your mind, your spirit. You have more control over it than you think. It is feels it may feel like there is someone almost like you are being held down, like a force of gravity is just pushing down on you and you find it difficult to get up. Okay? This in a sense the universe is there to say like there are things happening right now, but you can change, you can navigate these waters, you can find power, you can find strength within them to make change, to make things easier. Okay. Now we're going to look into this more though, uh, when it comes to career firstly and relationships. Okay. Um, sip of coffee first. Ah, nice. Right. So in Korea, let's see what's happening here. Okay. Whoa. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. My dog is sitting like a human in the armchair, just sleeping. It's quite funny. Legs are slight like, twitching. Right. Now. Oh, again. But, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There it is again. Okay, so. The magician, in a sense, work, creating, working in creative aspects for some of you water signs. Now, there is almost this sense of injustice, though something has been taken away from you. Something may have slowed down. It's not fair. Okay, it's not fair. You wish to perhaps make moves however money is not letting you this card has come up again this is the problem not knowing what to do with something being indecisive about these things now is not the right time to make a move now is the time to plan not to act okay it is just a matter of circumstance for some of you these two have come up again. These two have come up again. It is finding this balance. You are overworking yourself. If you are working, you are overworking. You may be stressed. Okay. You're tired. Try to find the small things that you appreciate and take time for yourself. It's very important that you do water signs. Okay. As water signs, you are sensitive. You feel you can oftentimes go with the flow fluidity here being the thing you can adapt but it doesn't mean it doesn't take a toll after a while okay take time out for you hmm once again to work but the fortuna now is not the time fortuna is not the time for you right now okay so that's something that's <laughs> to celebrate. 
This is the same one and I shuffled them, but they're coming up again. This is where a lot of it may reside, basically. This is what this means. This is where a lot of it may reside for you water signs right now, okay? When it comes to just not getting the breaks, perhaps when it comes to work or financial situations, not getting the breaks. Working, working hard on self, trying not to distract yourself. And then taking the time once you do the work, physical work, try not to put yourself in more problems by your actions. Be mindful of your actions right now. Be mindful of how you may spend money, okay? Um, because it may not be coming readily to many of you right now. Doesn't mean that it won't, okay? It just means that this is a period where you you may need to slow down and rein things in a little bit, okay? Now, I'm gonna do a second one for some of you as well, okay? Let's have another shuffle. And also, This one, I feel more strongly connected when it comes to a Pisces, and I don't know why. But for this one, there is more of a thing. But don't take that for bait, obviously. I mean, there's, there's, if it resonates with another water sign, it is a water reading. But Pisces. <laughs> so some of you there are opportunities coming to you that are present they are coming as a form of a gift you may be skeptical of some of these things around work the opportunities when it comes to money you this guy is standing here someone's like giving him a coin he's like what i can i can take this this, this is mine yes yes it's yours it's yours but it's what you do with it you can multiply it Okay, it's what you do with it. Don't sit on your laurels. Don't let the grass grow. It's what you do with it. Okay, invest. Spend it towards something that is going to improve you in some way. Okay. Build on it. Now. Love. Relationships. What's happening for water signs in the way of relationships for the week ahead? What's going to happen? What's happening for a lot of you now? Relationships, love. I'm going to give that another shuffle. Okay, so for some of you, you may be at the end of a relationship's natural course, something that had not f does not fit right, okay? But there is a strength to this. Someone may have hurt you, you have, may have walked away, but there is an empowerment to this. There is strength to be gained from the wisdom of the experience of this. If you allow it, the Three of Swords, you may not know which way to turn, to make a decision, to feel trapped in some way. It's all right. It's all right. There is more to it than you think. This all did happen for a reason for some of you. It has put something to rest. 
And there is a time now. This is all about coming to terms with something, putting something to rest, something from the past when it comes to love. Now, hmm. for others of you here, there is a steady form of conflict in love. There is a back and forth sort of thing. Now, this is all right. This is just a sort of a, almost like a status quo thing. It's just, there's no real movement there. Okay. This is the longing of this movement. This is what's necessary. This is what is needed for some of you. It comes to taking a step, jumping a leap of faith. Okay. It's about the other person in this scenario as well, whether this person is willing to. Okay. I think here, sometimes someone has to take the leap first. Someone has to make a move first in order for the other person to be encouraged. Okay. To muster their courage. That's what may be required. Now, some of you who are maybe looking for love or maybe just recently made um, a contact with a possibility for love, wants and desires, the beginning of many relationships, the material things, the aspects, the attraction of things. The potential of love is there. To see it from your perspective, at least. What it has to offer. What it can bring throughout. And then there are the worries. The stresses of what these things can be. The what-ifs. You can spend your whole life worrying about what-ifs. It's not going to help you. There is always a sacrifice of some kind. There is always a trust that must be given first. It's about finding the right person. Finding the person who is willing to work with you. To help you and them together as a couple, as a team. Work forward, push forward. To alleviate the burdens of life that you may be carrying, especially right now. Okay? These are some of the questions you need to ask yourself about that. Uh, about that is it is you know when it comes to meeting someone new, looking for someone um, to have a relationship with, is this person going to benefit us together? Can you see that? Okay. Um, now. I think that's pretty much it. So as I said, try to, you know, there, there may be some ups and downs for some of you water signs, but try to keep the perspective clear. Try to appreciate the things that you have and take time for you, especially water signs. Okay. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't. And um, I hope you have a blessed week. Goodbye.